morning and welcome to Dust and Glory, a Lent journey of faith, failure and forgiveness, in which we are invited to find God in the midst and the mess of everyday life. Here we are given the opportunity to consider the idea of failure from a range of different perspectives and the difference God's redeeming work in Jesus makes to the struggles and the shortcomings of human life. Today is Wednesday the 29th of March and our theme today, Know Thyself. We opened with a piece of music entitled The Long Road by Eric Eschenwaltz. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, redeemer of the world, grant us peace. Lord, by your cross and passion, free us from evil and deliver us. Destroy the powers of darkness and deliver us. Free your creation from corruption and deliver us. Bring us to the liberty of the children of God and deliver us. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We come now to our reading for today, which comes from the letter to the Hebrews, chapter 12. Therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us also lay aside every weight and the sin that clings so closely, and let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us. Thanks be to God. The way to be a person who fails really well is to be self-aware about the ways in which you are most likely to fail and the things that are most likely to cause you to do so and to work with others towards owning both, speaking with kindness for yourself about when it happens. Knowing what these flaws are and being aware of how they impact our interactions is half the battle. Where they are unacknowledged, they are at their most powerful. And a lack of self-awareness is what is most likely to cause us to fail and make mistakes. Accepting the fact that mistakes were made and allowing and acknowledging the feelings that raises in us with grief and compassion, rather than denial, anger and rage, mean we are able to learn from our failings and turn that learning into wisdom. Amen. And now, as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now our prayer for this week. Lord, you are strong when we are frail, and gentle when we let you down. Help us to lean on you this week. Amen.
for all that God can do within us, for all that God can do without us. Thanks be to God. For all in whom God lived before us, for all in whom God lives beside us. Thanks be to God. For all the Spirit wants to bring us, and where the Spirit wants to send us. Thanks be to God. Christ has promised to be with us in the world as in our worship. Amen. Let us go and serve him. Lord, hear our prayers, and if today we might be the means by which you answer the prayers of others, then may you find us neither deaf nor defiant, but keen to fulfil your purpose for Jesus' sake. Amen.